In this video of Georgia Wound Education Model, we're looking at a fungating tumour which is sitting just to the right of the neck here. And this is a tumour full of proliferating malignant cells which have extended out onto, uh, onto the skin here. You can see extending over onto the upper back and would in a real patient be sitting here uh, making inroads into the skin all around here uh, and possibly uh, growing a lot further down in time. The surface is uh, undulating, it's full of nodules. I can just see here on the back quite a big nodule here. Lots of sloughy tissue, they're often very highly vascular, which means they bleed very easily. They also provide a very rich environment for bacteria to sit on. Uh, the exudate that comes from them is often quite copious uh, and, and can be highly offensive. And imagine for a moment what it's like uh, to have a tumour sat there, uh, here on the neck, this close to where the head, the face would be, and importantly where the nose and the mouth are. Um, and when we think about the close links between smell and appetite, when you have a malignant tumour, not only does it, uh, does it look very unpleasant uh, and feel very unpleasant for the patient, but to have a smell sitting under your nose um, is very off-putting. Uh, appetite is often a problem already for people with uh, cancer uh, and to have a tumour like this, particularly so close uh, to the mouth and nose, uh, can really add to the problem uh, of getting adequate nutrition and hydration in. So they're very difficult to manage psychologically for the patient, for the carers, for the family uh, and also because they are fragile, because of this bleeding, because of this copious exudate and because of the smell. Um, this wouldn't normally happen, of course, it wouldn't normally actually come away, but if I do take this area away, you can see inside uh, there's quite a cavity here. If you can just about see that, the finger can go right into it. Uh, and a different type of wound here, perhaps we might have to deal with, where actually rather than the malignancy uh, coming outwards onto the skin, it's actually the problem we've got there is inroading deep inside. And again, just as difficult to manage the awkward positioning of it and the depth of it uh, requiring careful attention to, to dressings uh, and to drainage.